What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Newport County Youth Academy Crew Mode, episode number 17. So as you can see, we're in third place, one point behind second, and two behind first, and nine points above Leighton Orient with a oh, superior goal difference to second place, but four less than first. That's what the team's looking like. I mean, same offense as always, same midfield as always. And the defense has changed a little bit because Coleman and Schultz have become wingbacks, and they're going to, like, go inverted, make inverted runs on the inside, just for more attacking presence in the middle. Bench looking the same as always, except for Bernard, who's going to be on the bench for this first game. He might play a game down the line, but he's not here to play much. He's just here to be a backup to Zhao because Zhao's playing so good. And he, maybe he gets injured, we need someone on that bench. And let's look at the youth academy because I have one thing to say about it. Only thing I have to say is I changed his name to Farkad Abdulayev because it was super long and I feel like pronouncing it. So let's go look at the youth scouts now. All right, right now I'm scouting Camaros, Turkmenistan, and St. Lucia. I mean, I just feel like the cool countries to scout. And if you guys have any suggestions for me to scout countries, put them in the comments below. I'm filming this before the last one comes out. So if you comment anything on the last video, then it's going to be done next video. So yeah, let's get to the game against Colchester now and hopefully pick up a big three points. I guess he's good, Declan Drysdale. But yeah, here we are starting out live from the Rodney Parade at our home stadium. Um, Honestly, I don't really see how we can lose. We might drop points like a draw, but the offense isn't very good. We should not be losing to this team. Oh, that's a really high shot. Oh, good play. Belotus is found wide open on the back post to make it 1-0. to And 60 minutes gone, I think. Yeah. That was a beautiful play. Um, Right there below, Bender gets it. It takes forever to pass to Coleman, but I was trying to pass it sooner, but he took forever. And it actually worked out because he got it even more wide open than he would have got it. And a simple little pass across goal. None of the defenders expected it somehow. And Belotus finds himself wide up in the back post to make it 1-0. to zero. Not, Yeah. I mean, that was a very nice goal. And see if we can play like that for the rest of the game, we can make this a big blowout. But I don't know about if I trust my defense still. Only running with it. Oh, great play. Belotus can just run with it. Belotus take for himself. And he does. Would you look at that? Belotus takes it for himself. It makes it 2-0. That is a very, very nice goal. Because he was just running and running. And behind, I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross the tomato to silver. I was like, wait. He actually has some space. He can cut in. And he does. And he just finishes very nicely. Didn't have to put the most power on it because, you know, he was so close. And right into that perfect bottom corner. But Lotus makes it 2-0. And 2 for himself. Ooh. Nowhere to go. Oh. Oh, they leave him wide open. I don't know why I did that. Did Huang just miss an open goal? Look at that. The pass, I should have shot. I don't know why I passed. I thought someone was close. I thought the guy in the back post was actually... Like, I see that guy right there. I thought that was my own teammate. I was, was paying attention. Huang right here. Boom. Whiffs it. Oh, good save from Zhao. And he collects it. Good touch, Thompson. What a volley. Wow, Chato hit that volley um, sweetly. I don't like how Thompson just chested it right to him, but that was a beautiful volley. Get back, Bender. You're just watching three guys attack him. Head it out, Lenny. Yes. That's half time. Oh my god, this game's been... It's been something. We have a 2-1 lead, but our the defense gave up a silly, silly, silly goal. I'm going to make some changes. It's not tactically, just because I think that would be fun changes. Going back to the second half, hopefully play better. Come on. Oh, no. He broke through. Yep, and he makes it 2-2. Two two. My defense just... Everyone move out of the way of him. And then I had to try to move them back in the way. And it was too late at that point, And he was just wide open on goal. I love my defense. Just, you know, defend it without me having to 
move them in the right position the whole game. Bender. What a save from that keeper. Oh, the Silva. No, what the fuck? The Lotus wins it back. Kadaya back post. Kadaya. Oh, what a save. What a save by that keeper. Kadaya. Oh, Kadaya. Kadaya, finish. What a finish from Kadaya. After missing that last chance. It wasn't his fault, by the way. The header, the save was just amazing by the goalkeeper. He finishes his second chance. With some style, too. He puts that right into the top fence. So look at this. He touched his defenders just back off him, so he takes another one. Boom. Maybe the keeper reacted a little bit too late, but it was put so far top fence. I don't think the keeper was getting that anyways. And, I mean, what a substitution by Edward Beaumont. Because his sub makes not an instant impact. It took 27 minutes, but an impact nonetheless. Okay, why'd you leave him so far open? And they finish. Completely against the round of play. Kolschmet tries to make it 3-3 three three because my defense just decided to take a snooze and just spread it completely out. Oh, well, there we go. We gotta be running this. There he goes. He's in behind. Two goals in two minutes. De Silva looks like he grabs the winner. They thought they grabbed the equalizer. They thought they finished it. They thought they made like the comeback. And they were snoozing. They kind of took a break because of that. And the silver darts in behind and finishes that one. He's been trying to get his all night and he just couldn't. And now he does. And it's the biggest goal, game goal of the match by far. Take a 4 3 lead. Hopefully, we don't snooze like they did and see the goal right away because. I don't want to blow this game. Easy. That's not at all why I try to pass it, but that's a beautiful pass to Bender. Bender. Oh, it's wide. Oh, that's got to be closer in. That's a bummer. What a way to end a match. And ref. Ref's going to give them one more play. Oh, he's not. He does not give them another play. And we end up storming off the field by beating Colchester 4-3. to three. A very interesting match with, honestly, it should not have been this close. And if you put 4-3 on your bingo card, you would have got it. Because just two episodes in a row, 4-3 goals, that's the 4-3 games. And I remember last year, it'd just be 4-3, 4-3, 4-3. This is a good match. We'll load us with two. And let's get into the... Looking at the squad, I'll talk a little bit more about the match. Alright, so for the next match, this is what the team's looking like. Polo, Tortorelli, and Kadaya are the new offense. They all come in. Kaledz comes in for Marco at CDM. And Lenny is also coming out for Graf. And Colm is coming out for Rani. It's a little bit tired, and it's a midweek match. I'm taking out all my good players for the midweek match, or most of the good ones. We're playing a bad team. It's a midweek match, because we're... We played on Saturday. This is a Wednesday match. And then we got another Saturday match after this. So three games in eight days. My players all need a break. And Bernard's going to get his um debut. And this team sucks. No, not this team. The team of playing sucks. So hopefully a rotated squad like this can work. But if it doesn't, we still got all the really good players on the bench. So let's get into that match against Sutton United. All right, so we're in third place, and I'm pretty sure we're in third. We couldn't have gone down, so we're at least in third place. And Sutton's in 22nd, so they are not very good. They are third from the bottom, we're third from the top, so that's something. Hopefully, a team like this, a rotated one, heavily rotated, can pick up a big three points against a pretty trash team, to be honest. All right, how's this not a pass back? Keeper gets it, passes to his defender. Defender takes a touch, keeper just picks it up. That's a pass back. Thompson made a dumb mistake. It's forcing Hale to get back for him. Oh my god, what a tackle, Hale. Well, good stuff. Tortorelli. Oh, he digs the post. How close can you get, Tortorelli? No. Good save, Bernard. His first touch of the ball in a new 
Newport jersey. Oh, that's a beautiful play. What a one, two. And that's Polo in behind. Who can't finish because Ward saves it. That's a really good save. Great stuff. Take a touch. Ronnie. Pass it back. There he is. On the second time of asking, Polo finds the back of the net. Been if iffy, iffy how he got it, but it was brilliant that he tucked it in the bottom net. No, bottom bottom corner nonetheless. Because look at this. He just he just whacked it against the post. He played a one two with the post. Ronnie, what a guy. He passes it back to the man himself, Polo, who finishes. What a guy, honestly. And if we can keep this up, the second team might actually get a little more of a run out. Because they're doing good. Oh, I ain't hit that first time. <gasps> there is no way. That was what a strike. There we go. Boom. What a pass again. Polo. In behind again. Atrocious finishing Polo. And that's going to do it for the half. And that's they got one more attack in them. Oh, my God. Ooh, is that a save? What a save from Bernard. Oh, that's going to be Kadaya. Who heads it out? Right to that player at the top of the box. He couldn't have headed it anywhere else. Get that tackle in forecast. Good tackle. Okay. And that's halftime. Going to the break. Yeah, winning 1 0. Because of a splendid Ronnie um, pass back and forth with the pole, give and go, and uh, slots it in. Polo slots it in. So, and I'm not going to sub in any of the first team players right now because I want them to be rested. If they tie the game, I might, though. We're playing Graf. There's Graf. In on goal. The left back. Can't finish. Oh, good save from the keeper. But I didn't expect much more from Graf. Blank. Another good save from Ward. Play it back. Kadaya. Kadaya smacks the crossbar. Second time hitting the crossbar this match. Ronnie, what are you doing? Oh, what a tackle by Ronnie. He completely covered the distance and made a beautiful sliding challenge. Oh, there we go. Polo, Kadaya. The sides confuse me, but well, ask Kadaya. Who makes it 2-0. And he scores in back-to-back -back matches. What a finish. Actually, no. It's not what a finish. It was a it was a mediocre finish, but the goalkeeper moved out of the way. Like, look at that through ball. Beautiful. And the keeper, after all his amazing saves, moves out of the way of a Kadaya shot. If he just literally stood still, he would have saved it. But that does not matter to me or the team because... We grab a 2-0 lead, and I think um, the manager, Edward Beaumont, would be extremely happy about this. Uh-oh. Another brilliant save from Bernard. Alright, so here we are. We never usually never look at this midway through the game, but I had to check this out. We sold Frank the Sutton. I remember that. We sold Frank and Rose. And Rose didn't even make the bench. But Frank... Was the starting center back, even though he was his main position center forward still. That is extremely interesting. And I might have to go to this Jason Robert guy because he looks pretty good for the league too. But that's insane that Frank's playing against us, against his old club. Could I? Oh. Oh! I didn't think that was going to go in. The keeper looked like he should have got that easily. Oh my god. What a goal from Tortorelli. He really just scored a bicycle kick. There is no way. <laughs> that is so poor defending and goalkeeping. How did he manage to score that? I'm more impressed about him getting that on target. Wow, that's beautiful. Tortorelli, 
I literally just said that the Silva scored goal of the season with a scissor kick, but I'm pretty sure that um bicycle kick is goal of the season 100%. Easy. Easy. He's just sweat across. Easy goal from Polo. With the really with the assists and Polo with the easiest finish of his life. Just tapping in the back of the open net. I mean, good thing he was there, but really, he couldn't have missed. And that is a goal and assist from Tortorelli. He said he had a 5.9 match rating earlier. It's got to be like a 7.7 .7 or 8 now because he is really turning on these last 30 minutes. Quang. What a save by Ward. That is game. We end up winning 4-0. to zero. And in Bernard's first match in goal, he keeps a clean sheet. That is something you love to see. The team all around played amazingly. The offense was fluent, just getting goals. The defense barely let any shots get off even. And Polo picked up two. This might be the greatest match we've ever played, honestly. I really thought I might have to sub in my main players, but I didn't. And this Ward guy was amazing. Until he wasn't. So yeah, let's go look at the team sheet now. Alright, so I gotta switch everything up. We're playing against the fourth place team. And I don't think my first my first team has like enough to do it on its own with how it usually sets up. So I'm and playing at Far Cross playing atrocious this episode. They keep getting like five point eights in all the first two matches. So we're running with a four at the front with two CDMs. Because I'm not expecting them to shoot, I just want them to Hit the ball and pass it out. In the same defense, except Ronnie playing right back and now Zhao in goal. I'm going to set up instructions on the players. I really need this to work because if it doesn't, I don't know what to do with the team. Alright, so I was thinking about it. If I don't play either of them to like the main center mids and center mids, Huang or Fakas, yeah, I don't think Paul is good enough to play center mid right there right now. He, I'm going to play him on winger until he gets good enough. I don't know how to play, because I don't think Kalez is good enough, and to play center mid, he's really good at CDM, and like, sure, Morco has to be playing CDM, pretty much, so I don't know what to do, so I might bring up that guy from the Youth Academy for this next game, just depends how we do this game, alright, run, play him behind, oh, beautiful pass, and the Silva skies him, oh, and they drag it wide, that was close. We'll play him in. Oh, that was bad by them. Both the really is in. Both the really finishes. That was really poor by them. They gave it away. One of the center backs was really far back, and Both the really noticed that, so he stayed on the line. And we just get it back. Play him through. He's so far on side and so far behind everybody else. And just runs with it and finishes. That's a finish and a half. Edward Beaumont's very happy. Edward Beaumont looks like, looks like he got a little bit skinnier since his playing days, but it doesn't matter because that was a beautiful finish. And they finish. That's disappointing. I don't know why Hassan Grani stepped up, but he decided he was going to step up, and that just left a wide open gap. And he had so much time to finish, even. That was really disappointing for the team. Step up. He's off. He's got to be offside. How is he not offside? Because he passes it. Oh, that path is perfect. That's brilliant, actually, because now we are down by one going into halftime. If you can just run here, and you cannot, because he decides to go at a leisurely pace instead of sprinting. So once the halftime, losing two to one, the team is playing like atrociously. So I'm gonna make a bunch of um, subs because I some players are playing atrociously. I can't keep them in. Well, there we go. Tortorelli in again. 
finishes again. Cotterelli makes it two to two. He scored again with that same celebration. I keep seeing it now. I I think it's new. He scored the first one, right? I'm almost certain he did. And he scores the second. That is beautiful. Smacks that right into the top ends. But the keeper can't. Not top ends at all. The keeper can't reach it. And Botterelli and Paul, whatever the name is, I think it's Smith, are going back to back right now. All time duel. No, no, no. Thompson. Thompson almost gave him an easy goal because he decided to trap the ball and pass it right into the middle. Some right footed fella. Like this. I don't remember I remember I don't remember if I know how to do this correctly. Like this. Oh what a goal. I remember how to do it. Bender scores an absolute screamer. <laughs> I wasn't even talking while taking the free kick. I was so focused on how to do it. And I remembered how to do it. Oh my god. That might be the first free kick I've scored this series. Look at this. Right past on the keeper's side. There is no way. Literally perfect top ends. You're never going to see a goal that more top ends. That is astonishing. Dude, this episode's just been great goal after great goal. With first it was um, Potterelli's. Now it's this one. <laughs> it was so nice. It was perfect up in upper 90s. Uh-oh. Great block. No. No. The defense on show there was crazy. Because literally everybody wants to move out of the way instead of actually defending. There we go. He breaks. Smedo to Silva. All on his own. This could be it. Smedo to Silva. 90th minute puts a wide. This completely wasted time. I don't want to talk about it. We just tied a game 3-3. Three three. Let's look at the youth scouting reports. I'm out of here. All right, so here we are with the monthly scouting reports. I haven't looked at them yet, but I went over them without even thinking. This guy from St. Lucia looks pretty good. Everyone else looks pretty bad. Uh, high overall. We're going we're gonna to risk it on him. From Cabaros, whatever it is. This guy looks alright, but he's 15. No potential from any of the other three. And from... This country, ooh, ooh, that's two. Two million. 375. What about these guys? 525. I have to sign them up for the 525, but this Turkins, Turkmenstein came up big. Let's see how they are. All right, we got an FA Cup match simulated against Oxford United. I'm going to go ahead and throw out this team. Bunch of second teamers. Oh, third teamers. And Zhao, because he's not going to play the next match in less than half a week. And he had a replay? That's awful. I want to show the team right now for the next match, because it's going to be heavily rotated, because they play better. So I forgot to show Youth Academy after um, I changed everyone's names. Here are the names. Paul Cherry, which is a sick name. Eliz Redzepov, which is pretty cool. Dowell Razveva. Potential's not great. His overall is all right. As you check his potential, he has 81 potential. So it's in the high end. So he's good. Orchard is coming in. He's going to play the next match because he just turned 16. Hamada. Oh, Hamada. Yahab, yeah, Yahaya. Yahaya. I don't know how to pronounce it. He's, in, he's one for the future. And Kahan. Saparov. Saparov. He's going to come in and start it too because he looks really good for the midfield. And everyone else is going to stay in here, including Fakhat Abdullayev, who looks amazing. Alright, so this next match against bottom of the league. Um, What are they? Stock, Stockport? Stockport. Yeah, I think it's Stockport, not Rochdale. This is the team we're running with. Orchard starts right above Saparov. Saparov, Saparov. I'll figure it out before the match. They are very similar players. They're playing right next to each other. Thor Thorelli, playing striker. Oh, he's a 16 overall winger. He's staying center mid, though. Kadaya starting the right wing. Bender is starting center mid because he's been so, doing so well. Kalez starting at CDM. Graf and Ronnie at wing backs. Same defense. And Bernard, a goalkeeper. 
Mia's team played so well last time out. And we're playing the bottom place team. Oh, and he becomes a 70 overall. I don't see why I shouldn't give him another match. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get on to the match and hopefully play very good against this bottom place team. And maybe the two new players can show out a little bit. All right, here we are. Showing it's Stefan Orchard's for debut. He is, looks very good. And even if he turns out to be trash, he is Bermuda's. Well, not technically, he's not yet. I would say he's Bermuda, Bermuda's best player ever. Technically not, because there's this one guy in the EFL Championship who is actually pretty decent, like 67 overall. So not yet, but he's almost certain to become, um, was it, Bermuda's best player ever. Richard running with it. Getting past his man with ease. Great stuff. Potarelli. Good save by the keeper. Great save by Bernard. And Graf cannot get it out. Another beautiful save by Bernard. Bernard is amazing. He wants it back. Potarelli. That was beautiful. That was inches from um, flying in that bottom corner. Oh, look how close that is. Kadaya, take a touch. Finishes. What a finish by Kadaya. He has scored in three goals in, I think, three games. I don't think he came on last game. Yeah, it's three goals in three games for him. What a finish, too. Bender played it over the top. He took his time, trapped it, then hits it with his weaker left foot. Um, iffy goalkeeping, I will say so myself. That is very iffy goalkeeping. But that's not even iffy goalkeeping. That's atrocious goalkeeping. But it doesn't matter because Kadaya has put it in the back of the net. Kadaya is becoming a real finisher. And it's a shame because... Actually, the more I think about it, Wang's not doing much. Do I just throw Bender and send him mid and Kadaya at winger? That might work because Bender's doing a lot in center mid and um, Hoang isn't. Uh oh. Come on, Bernard. What a save from Bernard. Bernard might be better than Zhao. Bernard is coming up huge this match. Another amazing save from Bernard. And that is halftime. The team is playing amazing. The thing is, I'm going to have to make one sub. And that's Kadaya out. He has a yellow. I know he has a goal, but he has a yellow card. Actually, I'll keep him in. He's not going to make much tackles from offense. I'll just sub out the tired players. Oh, got him. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a finish. Semedo de Silva slaps that one top ends. You know what? 2-0. There's Orchard and the new, other new guy. The Turkmenistan guy. We'll go to celebrate him. Two new players want to celebrate it with the Silva. But look at this. The Silva just turns his man, then uses his pace and um, physical physicality of strength to get by, by him and just whacks that one into the back of the net with his favorite left foot. And now we have a 2-0 lead right out of halftime, which could do be big for us for the rest of the match. It was. Ooh. That was extremely close. Don't just rush it. Kalez. Silva. Playing back. Hit that. What a save by Wooten. Ronnie. What a strike. And what a save. Hale just running into space. Hale just running into space. Hale just running into space. Hale. And that might... Actually, I think that is. That's the first goal I've scored with Hale. Ever. That is so cool. Yes, their defense sucks, but it's weird that it's the center back who was able to run through the whole defense. I don't know what they were doing, really. Oh, double teaming De Silva, thinking Hale wouldn't run. He's got some legs on him. And he has a finish on him, too. What a finish from Hale. Now, I mean, 
3-0 lead. A couple seconds left. This second team is amazing. Especially the defensive side of the second team. Even though the defense is still just Thompson and Hale. It doesn't make any sense. I think Bernard is just much better. So, that's Bernard's second clean sheet in two games. And that's more than Zhao's got in the whole rest of the season. Because he has one. That is insane. Let's get to the end screen now. It's alright. This is what the team's looking like now. I decided that Bender's kind of dropping back from right wing. The center mid. And that Kadai will play right wing instead of Hale, uh, Huang, Huang playing. Because Huang's not playing the greatest. We're going to um, give him substitute cameos. And if he can regain form, then he can get back to starting 11. But now, he's not cutting it. Um, Safarov actually did pretty good. I don't know if he did better than Huang did, but we'll see. Hey, but Kadai is tired for this next match. So next match is going to be an Orchard type match, even though he's pretty slow. And Thompson's pretty tired. So I guess we'll throw in Ronnie. Yeah, this is what we're going to play with the next match. So let's go look at the youth camera last time. Or no. This is actually, don't just end it right now. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.